Britain is a small island with a population of around 60 million people. Most live in cities or in the suburbs, whilst others live in towns and villages. Some live in high apartment blocks and others in small houses on new estates. A few live in very large houses that form the great collection of impressive country houses, from historic castles, classical masterpieces, to Gothic wonders. And from the air, it's possible to see how Britain's houses fit into the landscape, from a high and mighty castle to a humble croft by the sea. In fact, Britain contains a greater variety of domestic architecture than almost anywhere else in the world. Styles have come and gone, and even come back again several hundred years later. The story of building Britain is also wrapped up in the country's history as well. For a thousand years, the rich and powerful built houses to impress. It's all part of the story of building Britain. For thousands of years, man has looked to the heavens in awe and prayed to a number of different gods. Today, large radio telescopes stare into space, searching the cosmos for clues about our existence. For centuries, scientists, including Einstein, have seen the unity of the universe as so astonishing that it can command a spiritual wonder. Back on Earth, that spiritual wonder has, for time immemorial, manifested itself in any number of structures and buildings dedicated to a variety of gods. From the southern tip of Cornwall to the cliffs of Orkney, and from an island off the east coast to another off the west coast, Britain is touched by spiritual places whether from myths and legends of ancient times or the rise of today's great religions. Spiritual and sacred places, sanctified by centuries of worship, cover the country, from prehistory pagan sites on windy mountaintops to magnificent cathedrals across the country. These places have been inspiring wonder in man for generations. Some places are so ancient that their use can only be open to speculation. Other spiritual places are more modern and part of Britain's diverse religious landscape. For centuries, human beings have built sacred places and some of the finest are all the parish churches that stand in the center of villages across the country. They have become more than just spiritual places. They are part of the fabric of Britain and a part of history that stretches back to the Normans and beyond. This aerial journey will show how they and all the other sacred and secular places have shaped the landscape of spiritual Britain.